This is Sandra Carter, the math lady from Math One on One LLC based in Atlanta, Georgia. We offer math tutoring services for grade schoolers to grandmothers, from arithmetic to calculus. Our mission is to help our students to achieve their mathematical goals. We want our students to embrace math and not fear it. Today, I'm going to show you a few practical examples of how math is used in our everyday lives. During a football game, an offensive football team made these plays to score these points. Three touchdowns, two extra point conversions, three field goals, one safety. How many points did this team have? Here is a note for you non-football fans. A touchdown equals six points, Extra point conversions equal one point. A two point conversion equals two points. A field goal equals three points. A safety equals two points. This is a very easy algebra problem. Three touchdowns times six points plus two extra point conversions times one point plus three field goals times three points plus one safety times two points for a sum of 31 points. Please take note of the fact that each plate is multiplied by its point value and enclosed in parentheses. We have 18 points in touchdowns, two points in extra point conversions, nine points in field goals, and two points in safeties for a total of 31 points. I have another math problem for you. Let's say that your school fundraising committee wanted to sell souvenir footballs such as this one. The committee was able to find a manufacturing company to manufacture 500 footballs at a cost of $625. The tax would be 6%. You'd find that by multiplying 625 times 0 .06, the shipping would be $75. The total expenses would be $737.50. Let's say if every committee member sold all 500 footballs at a cost of $5 each, the revenue would be $2,500. To simplify the concept, the profit margin is the difference between the revenue and the total expenses required to manufacture and distribute the product. In this scenario, the profit margin is $2,500 representing the revenue minus $737.50 representing the total expenses for a profit margin of $1,762.50. one last math problem for you. Let's say that you wanted to make this souvenir football more appealing for your target audience. The captain of the football team and the coach would sign each souvenir football and you could sell it for $10. If you kept your expenses the same, what would be the new profit margin? Do you know the answer? If you do, then log on to our website at www.math1on1.net. Click on the link, Small Business Camp for Teens, and email me the answer using the instructions provided. The first five correct responses will receive a copy of my book, How to Help Parents and Kids Get Over the Fear of Math. It is available in bookstores everywhere and online in the U.S. and five other countries. This is Sandra Carter, the math lady, reminding young entrepreneurs that before you go into business, you should calculate your expenses, determine your target market, consider ways to make your product or service more appealing, and estimate your revenue. Remember, math is used in your everyday lives. Embrace it and make it your friend.